here at Bakery Living, he does an excellent job of setting um, a great example for just striving for excellence. So I don't want to think what Bakery Living would be like without Jim. Jim goes above and beyond. He's, he's, he's just a natural people person. The dogs, the kids, everyone loves him. He is one of the biggest assets that we have here at Bakery Living. He gets his work done, he works hard, and he works smart, but he also just brings a wonderful presence to our team. We have a big campus here, and this man gets it done. He taught me so much over the years. I, as the property manager, would not be able to do what I do without Jim. Without Jim, I think we would really be struggling, honestly. I think that maintenance technicians are one of the most important parts of our society. If things don't work in your apartment, then you're not gonna be functioning. My name's Jim Davis. I'm currently working for Bakery Living, a part of Walnut Capital Management. I am here because I've been nominated for Maintenance Technician Award. I've worked for this property for six years. This is not my first job in the apartment industry. I've worked for an, another management company and the property was named uh, South Point Towers. My job responsibilities are usually coming in every morning, checking work orders that came in, emails that came in, doing a walk around, uh, take care of the swimming pool. I think the most important skills I have are being calm, having patience, being organized, uh, to accomplish what I need to get done during the day. He's very organized. He's a great communicator. He's always communicating to me what you know he's been doing during the day. Sometimes during a tense moment, you know, we're all on edge, but Jim's always there to lighten the mood with a, a great joke. I have a CPO license for uh, swimming pools and a class three for HVAC. He has taken some classes to be a um, HVAC licensed technician. He takes it upon himself to learn something if he doesn't know something. It's actually quite outstanding that he doesn't really have training in most of the things that we have here, but he took it upon himself to learn all of that. He almost never has to call in an outside vendor to um, come and help with a repair. A lot of the work orders we get here, like tub drains and light bulb changes and that kind of stuff. I mean, a lot of times it's you're waiting longer for the elevator and then it doesn't do the job. But then there's jobs where you think you're going for that simple thing, like for the tub drain, then you end up there for an hour. I've had 22 work orders I've done in a day. There are some days where he has 20 work orders and he gets them all done. Jim has done over 10,000 work orders in the past six years that he's worked here. Um, so he did turnovers, all the resident work orders, all of our recurring orders, all on his own, which is amazing. Those days are tough, definitely, but he's willing to do it because he just cares about our residents and cares about doing a good job. My favorite part about working at Bakery Living and, I, uh, and what I like about my job is probably four o'clock. It's time to go home. No. Just, <laughs> just kidding. No, I, I actually love what I do. I, I, I really do. And I love working for uh, Walmart Capital, especially. Jim is definitely a leader in the maintenance team. He has another service technician under him. And this service technician did not have uh, maintenance experience before. And he's definitely come a long way in the past year with Jim's guidance. He talked me through taking a part, uh, HVAC panel control panel over the phone and putting it back together. That's awesome in itself right there. And I had no, never had no experience with that. I think it was my stepdad. Yeah. I mean, at the time, and he was telling me, you know, you, if you're gonna do a job, do it right. And, and if you're not gonna do it right, well, don't do it. And basically that pretty much stuck with me. The rabbit, oh yeah. One morning we came in and there was a dead rabbit um, on the lawn. Uh, there's a dead rabbit out in between the buildings. And me and my helper go out and look at the rabbit and here he was in three pieces laying in the grass. And the first thought is, well, what did this, you know? And I guess somebody's dog had attacked the rabbit. And, you know, just in the back of my mind, right away, I was like, I don't wanna do that. I don't wanna take care of that. Jim, I know he will be willing to take care of that. And he did. Put some rubber gloves on and got a bag and just picked it up and, and then uh, just disposed of them, unfortunately. That's an outside job description. A lot of things like that where Jim is really, 
he's just the one who's super willing to go above and beyond and do something that you know nobody really wants to do. He's willing to take one for the team and go for it. He shows up, he's ready to work. He doesn't ever complain about any of the work that he has to do. I don't think I've ever met somebody that has a better work ethic than Jim. He gets his job done, but he also takes the time to get to know people. Every year, um, I believe it's in March, it's the um, Maintenance Appreciation Month. We give the residents a chance to let us know how the maintenance team is doing and kind of give them shout outs. And Jim always has, I would say, about 100 cards just personally to Jim, thanking him um, for keeping the building up. The reason why I feel I should deserve this award, I think basically is dedication to my vigilance on completing work and uh, keeping my tenants happy. I think it's important that they feel that they can count on somebody here to take care of their uh, problems. He's a huge asset to our team and he has a lot of skills that really make him a wonderful candidate for this award. He deserves to win this award. If you guys find someone else better than him, show me.